There are several ways of manipulating sound on the timeline in Edge Animate. One of the first things we can do is we'll select the sound in our timeline and we have several options here. We have volume, autoplay, as well as loop. Right now, if we decide to test our movie, let's do command return, control enter on PC. There's nothing happening right now. So let's go ahead and close this out and let's try using autoplay. So I'll simply select autoplay. Now this is not to be confused with, if I click directly on the stage, we also have an autoplay. Now this is talking about the animation, but if I select the sound loop, there's also an autoplay button here. So now that we've selected autoplay, we should be able to hear something when we test our movie. Let's do command return, control enter on PC. Now, this is just a small loop that I've created and it just stops abruptly because, well, it's not that long. So let's go ahead and close this out. And I also wanna show you one thing in particular. I'm going to select loop and we'll see if this is going to play okay. So do command return, control enter on PC. Now, what you may have heard is a little skip right where the music is trying to loop. When I initially created this loop, this is created for the program Adobe Flash. And in Flash, it actually plays pretty smoothly. But the one thing I've noticed about Edge Animate is there's a little bit of a skip as the music is trying to play again. So my suggestion, if you're going to create a loop for Edge Animate, I would suggest doing something in the way that music is set up for DVD loops. So you may have music that's fading in and then fading out over a period of time. Now, in addition to autoplay and loop, I'm gonna turn both of these off for now. We also have controls directly on our timeline. So I can click here and select play and I can move this playhead exactly where I want it to be. So I can move this so the music won't start playing until one second in. So now if we test our movie, command return, control enter on PC. And we can also scrub a little bit ahead and we'll select pause. So it's only going to play this very small bit of music. And we'll test our movie. Okay. And we can also decide to move and stretch these. Select playback here. And we can move both of these at the same time. And if we decide we don't want either one of these, we can simply select these and press our delete key or backspace on PC. And you can go back to the normal auto play. So even though Edge Animate is not a sound editing program per se, you can still start using different aspects of music you've brought in or sounds that you brought in just by controlling them using the properties as well as the timeline.